Have you ever wondered where your money disappears? Are you living from paycheck to paycheck? If yes, then it's time for a wake-up call. Good money habits pave the way to wealth and success, but those bad habits—they are robbing you blind. And luckily, in this video, we'll go over six money habits devouring your hard-earned cash, keeping you poor. So buckle up and get ready to learn how to set yourself for financial success. Number one, paying yourself last. When it comes to money habits, one of the worst offenders is paying yourself last. Let me ask you this: When a paycheck lands in your hands, what do you do? Let me guess: You start by paying off those bills, subscriptions, and debts, and whatever is left behind goes into your savings. It sounds familiar, right? Well, let me tell you, that's the lousy money habits right there. The rich folks do it differently. They pay themselves first, no question asked. Don't worry, let me tell you how you do it. Next time when a paycheck arrives, take at least ten percent of it and stash it right away into your savings account. Treat it like you are paying the actual bill. Why? By doing this, you are making sure you save money every single month. If you cannot start with a hefty ten percent right off the bat, that's all right. Start with whatever percent you can manage and build that habit up. As your income grows, or you keep debt to the curb. Number two, bad debt. You know what's worse than stocking up the mountain of debt? Pretending it doesn't exist and living grow like a wild weed. Debt has become the norm in our society. It is tempting to whip out that plastic card for every single purchase. But here's a pro tip: if you cannot pay for something with cold hard cash, then think twice before swiping the card. Those credit card companies are slick talkers, trying to lure you into their web of debt. They want you to make those bad financial choices because that's how they keep your pockets full. The average interest rate on those credit lines is, on average, a whopping 24 percent. Ignoring debt is like keeping yourself in the perpetual cycle of being broke. The longer you wait to pay off the high interest credit card debt. The more you're going to be drowning in high-interest payments, it's like a never-ending game of catch-up. And trust me, you don't want to be stuck in a loop. Number three, mind other people's finance. When it comes to budgeting and spending your hard-earned cash, here's the golden rule: do what makes you happy, and stop worrying about the rest of the world is up to. Now I get it. Your friends or your neighbors might be flaunting those fancy gadgets. Jetting off on luxurious vacations and strutting around in designer clothes, but let me tell you, just because they are doing it doesn't mean you, that you gotta follow. What works for them financially might not work for you, and to be honest, you never know what's going on behind their closed doors. Those same folks bought in flashy outfits and living in grand mansions might be secretly drowning the sea of debt. Their bank accounts could be running on empty. And they're just putting on a show for you to see. Remember that saying: "Looks can be deceiving, right?" Their fancy lifestyle might be a shining facade, hiding a whole lot of financial turmoil. So, don't get distracted. Stay focused on what matters to you and your financial well-being. Number four: Focus only on income and expense, but not on growing your assets. When it comes to saving, everyone's going all out, trying to save every penny they can. They are coupon clipping maniacs, munching off their piles to cover their meals, and living on budgets stricter than the prison sentence. But here's the thing: that approach is dead wrong, and I'm pretty sure that is not sustainable for you. If you're strapped for cash, the key is to make more money, plain and simple. Forget about obsessing over saving for just a little. It's time to reprogram that mindset. Instead of worrying about saving every last penny, focus on growing assets, ones that generate steady streams of income in the long run. You can achieve this by investing in stocks, writing a book, or doing something you and your audience both enjoy. So let loose on your strict savings and set sights on something bigger. Number five, spending more than you earn. 
This is probably the most common mistake that people have been making. You sit down, crunch the numbers, set some money aside for bills and living expenses, and then boom, you realize you've got nothing left in your tank to feed yourself. Sound familiar? Well, that's a sure sign you are living way beyond your means. Let's get real for a sec. Are you living paycheck to paycheck, surviving off credit like it's your lifeline? Are you constantly blowing past your budget, making impulsive purchases, and hitting the shops on a daily basis in the name of saving? Maybe you are guilty of these things. If so, you are spending more than you are bringing in, and that's a dangerous game to play. Living beyond your means is like walking the tightrope without a safety net. It puts your finances at serious risk. Debts start piling up, bills go unpaid, and saving becomes a distant dream. It's a fast track to staying poor. Now I get it. When you get that paycheck, it's tempting to let loose with your spending. I mean, who doesn't want to elevate their standard of living, right? Treating yourself every now and then is totally fine, but here's the thing: constantly raising your budget can leave you broke in the blink of an eye. The key, my friend, is balance. It's important to keep your expenses and spending in check while looking for ways to increase your income and build up your wealth. Number six, not understanding taxes. It blows my mind that 95% of people aren't talking about this. Seriously. It's like the elephant in the room that everyone is pretending not to see. Let me explain. If your tax rate is 40%, then every year from January through May, you are going to work without being paid, because all that money ends up in the government's pockets. Now tell me, doesn't it make sense to legally pay less taxes if you can? One way to slash your tax bill is to establish the business yourself. That way, you have more control over what you pay and when you pay it. It's like having a secret weapon in your financial arsenal. And hey, if you're not sure where to start, then here are the two tips. First, Robert Kiyosaki recommends reading books by Garrett Sutton, who provides wonderful insights into personal taxes. Second, hire yourself a tax advisor. They have all the tricks up at their sleeves, from real estate investments to other options. That can help you keep more of your hard-earned cash. Trust me, everyone is doing it. If you don't hop on that tax-saving train, you'll be left behind, missing out on all the tax benefits while others thrive. That's it for today's video. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to Richer Than Yesterday. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.